welcome back. In this episode, we're going to learn about Azure Disk Encryption Technologies. My name is Sushant Sutish, and I'm your trainer for this AZ303 certification course. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. The primary encryption-based disk protection technologies for Azure VMs are Storage Service Encryption or SSE and Azure Disk Encryption or ADE. The storage service encryption is performed on a physical disk in the data center and the Azure Disk Encryption encrypts the virtual machine hard disk. So let's go and understand the storage service encryption in detail. Azure Storage Service Encryption is an encryption service built into Azure used to protect data at rest. The Azure Storage Platform automatically encrypts data before it's stored to several storage services, including Azure Managed Disk. Storage service encryption is enabled for all new and existing storage accounts and cannot be disabled. Your data is secured by default and you don't need to modify your code or application to take advantage of storage service encryption. And the storage service encryption does not affect the performance of your Azure storage services. Now let's understand Azure Disk Encryption in detail. Azure Disk Encryption is managed by the VM owner. It controls the encryption of Windows and Linux VM using BitLocker on Windows VM and DMCrypt on Linux VMs. ADE ensures that all data on VM disk are encrypted at rest in Azure storage and ADE is required for VMs backed up to the recovery services vault. With Azure Disk Encryption, VMs boot under customer control keys and policies, and ADE is integrated with Azure Key Vault for the management of these disk encryption keys and secrets. Please note that ADE does not support the encryption of basic tier VMs, and you cannot use an on-premises key management service with ADE and the types of VM series which ADE is not available are basic A series VMs or on virtual machines that are less than 2 GB of memory and ADE is currently not available on generation 2 VMs and LSV2 series VMs as well. So let's look into how you can decide when to use encryption. Computer data is at risk when in transit and at rest. The address scenario is the primary concern when protecting data on Azure VM disk. For example, someone might download the virtual hard disk file associated with an Azure VM and save it on their laptop. And if the VHD is not encrypted, the contents of the VHD are potentially accessible to anyone who can mount the VHD file on their computer. For the operating system disk, Data such as passwords are encrypted automatically. So even if the VHD is not itself encrypted, it's not easy for information to be accessed. An application may also automatically encrypt their own data. However, even with predictions, if someone were to gain access to the data disk and the disk was encrypted, they might be able to exploit weakness in that application's data protection. With disk encryption in place, such exploits are not possible. The storage service encryption is part of Azure itself and there should not be any noticeable performance impact on the VM disk I.O. when using SSE. And ADE makes the VM operating system tools like BitLocker and DMCrypt, so the VM must do some work when encryption or decryption of the VM disk is being performed. And Azure provides two complementary encryption technologies that are used to secure Azure VM disk. These technologies, SSE and ADE, encrypt at different layers and serve different purposes. And both use AES 256-bit encryption. And using both technologies provide a defense in depth protection against unauthorized access to your Azure storage and to the specified VHDs. These are some of the prerequisites for ADE. And to encrypt an existing VM disk, you can either use PowerShell or the CLI. That concludes this lesson. In the next episode, we're going to learn about Azure Load Balancer. I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care.